Hey, I'm Gabby and welcome back to my channel and to a new speed build video. This time this video is about Halloween and I wanted to do for a long time something for Halloween and it should be uh, different of course and unique and interesting but it shouldn't be so crazy, so ridiculous looking. So it was difficult to find a good idea for my plan for Halloween and for a long time I uh, hadn't an idea until I saw some simmers building houses in pumpkin shapes and then the idea came to me why not just to try to design a house with the pumpkins because when you play sims you already know that in the decoration section of the build menu there are pumpkins pumpkins in different colors and then I decided to extremely enlarge them and place the pumpkins in such a way that it looks like they are part of the house. You may have noticed that at the beginning of the video that there are already a lot of things standing around, a lot of huge pumpkins and also the house shape is already in place because I was at the time really really tired and stupid and I put down my PC without saving my record and I lost everything what I built and so what I have in my footage. That's why I had to build everything from scratch and I took a photo and then I recreated it. But luckily that happened very quickly because the house is relatively small. It is a tiny house with exactly 64 tiles. So you get the benefit from tiny living, but inside it looks very spacious. The house has space for one sim, maybe you can play with two sims in it, but then someone would have to sleep on the sofa, so I recommend you only to play with one sim. And in addition to a small bedroom on the second floor, there's a bathroom, living room and kitchen downstairs and even a room with a small dining table and a small office corner. And for the exterior design, I based the colors on the pumpkins and I wanted to make everything very autumnal. I also put this big three trunk from the Diva catalog behind the house because I thought it would go very well with the pumpkins and that it made it look much more interesting. I think the small size of the house and the curved and green roofs make the overall picture very magical, a little bit fantasy fantasyful and very cute and reminded me of a gnome house especially when there are oversized pumpkins around the house and on the roof as well I, I found it really cute and then I, that's why I added a lot of garden gnomes and they even had the perfect color tones for the rest of the house so I placed a lot of them and I also placed one on the roof and also some on the side of the pumpkins and I think that is really a cute idea and yes. I only concentrated on the front of the house, on the front yard and I put a few flowers and some greenery next to the pumpkins but otherwise I kept all really simple because the pumpkins look special enough and I didn't want that to be totally crazy or that it looks really ridiculous so I only put a lot of different pumpkins, different colors of pumpkins and of course the cute gnomes and I think with them, with all together, it looks really magical, unique but in a normal way, it is not so crazy and it looks really cute. So now for the inside, I use the same color scheme like from the outside. Everything is in green, orange, yellow and brown tones. The inside should look very inviting and warm and autumnal. So and this time I really like the bathroom because it is very colorful and I really love the shower curtain because it has a very pretty flower illustration on it and I think 
the, that was very fitting because the tiles also have a flower pattern and such sm small details always make me very happy when I build in the Sims and I always try to pet pay attention to such small details so that everything fits together very harmoniously and I found find with some details like that I can bring in a little bit personal touch of myself. So then of course I try to make full use of the small rooms and to bring in everything you could possibly need when you play in it. I even managed to bring down a small room with a dining table and a small office area with a big bookshelf inside. And I really like the bedroom as well, which can be reached from the kitchen with a ladder. I like the color of the wallpaper and the in contrast of the wooden furniture. And which has a slight reddish and orange tint and I think this color combination are very beautiful and I was very happy that I succeeded in this combination without it looking too dark because of the dark emerald green and of the wallpaper and the wooden furniture and I think the small size makes it very cozy and I think the windows also shines out. I really like the windows from the from Realm of Magic. I got this um, again because of the sale and I couldn't resist it. So I got it a few days ago and I fell in love with all the building items. I love the windows and I use a lot of them in this pumpkin house and I also use a lot of these items from the Realm of Magic pack in the house of my next video and this house is also a magical one and it is the entry for the spark challenge and yes I will not talk a lot about it because you have to stay tuned until next week, but I would really appreciate it if you want to check it out. You can find this entry for the Spark Challenge by searching my ID. And my ID and all information are down below in the info box. And of course, if you want to download this pumpkin house, you will find also the information down below, like always. And Yes, I think this is all what I have to say about this video. I hope you like this Halloween special. And if you like it, please leave a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done it already. And please don't forget to push the notification bell so you get all my information and that you don't miss the next video. So, I think shortly I will close up this video with some screenshots. And you can see all screenshots or more detailed photos on my Instagram as well. And yes, there are also down below the link to it. And now to the end, I wish you a nice day or night. And of course, a great weekend. And then I will see you next time. Please stay safe and bye bye.